Sweet Summer Days is happening now at Whole Foods Market with sales on the juiciest fruits of the season. Organic peaches, organic cantaloupes, blueberries, and strawberries. That's an epic fruit salad. You'll also find sweet sales on fresh Alaska sockeye salmon and halibut and grill-ready fruity marinades. Keep your wallet happy with aisles of savings from 365 by Whole Foods Market, like sparkling waters, frozen fruits, and snacks. Sweeten your summer at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 2228, and I'm Dr. Neil, your host of the show. Welcome back to another Friday show where I answer your questions. On all the other days, I read health and fitness blogs to you, kind of like an audiobook, with permission from the authors, of course. Now, If you want to know more about me and why I call myself Dr. Neil, definitely check out the first Q&A episode from each month. That means next week I'll go into more details about that. Oh, and I'll let you know how you can send in your own question at the end of the show, plus get rewarded for sending in your question. But for now, let's hear today's question and start optimizing your life. Today's question came via email. Jason writes, How long does it take to see an improvement in cholesterol readings after implementing a change in lifestyle or diet? Also, does alcohol change your cholesterol? It seems to me that most resources neglect to discuss the relationship between alcohol and cholesterol, and I'd love to hear more. Thanks. Thank you for taking the time to send in your question, Jason. You're right. Both of your questions aren't discussed very often. But before I answer them, as always, I have to start at the beginning. Meaning, What is cholesterol really? And what are healthy levels? And which ones do you want to increase versus decrease? So once I've discussed that, then we can get to your specific questions. So first, let's talk about what cholesterol actually is. It's a bit confusing because cholesterol itself is a type of fatty substance, but yet it's not called a fat, it's called cholesterol. This is because cholesterol, even though it's a fatty substance, travels around the bloodstream encased in a special protein. These proteins that carry cholesterol, or these fatty substances, are called lipoproteins. More on that in a second. Cholesterol is actually good for the body up to a certain amount. Too much cholesterol can start collecting in our arteries. This can lead to plaque forming in them. This plaque is dangerous because it can block the flow of blood. Not only that, but the plaque can rupture, which is now a life-threatening situation. This is why doctors like to monitor our blood cholesterol levels. They want to know how likely is it that there may be a plaque forming in our arteries. The right amount of cholesterol is good for the body, like I said. And because of that, the body actually makes its own cholesterol. And again, this is because it helps transport these fatty substances throughout the blood. But we can also get cholesterol from our diets. Anytime we eat an animal product, it has cholesterol in it. The body tends to make more cholesterol when we eat high amounts of saturated fat. These are the types of fats we find in red meat and butter, for example. So, when we get our blood cholesterol levels checked, what should we aim for? According to the National Heart, Blood, and Lung Institute, for those 20 years of age or older, we want our total cholesterol number to be less than 200. But there are subtypes of cholesterol. Remember I mentioned that cholesterol gets carried around in the bloodstream in these special proteins called lipoproteins? Well, there are different types of lipoproteins. Some are better for us than others. We want our low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, sometimes called bad cholesterol levels, to be less than 100. So when we get our blood tested for cholesterol, you'll see a number that says total cholesterol, then you'll see a separate number that says LDL or low-density lipoprotein cholesterol. We want that one to be less than 100. There's another type of lipoprotein. It's called high-density lipoprotein or HDL or good cholesterol. We want these levels to be above 40 if we were born male and above 50 if we were born female. I remember when I was first learning these terms in school, it was hard for me to remember which type of cholesterol was good and which was bad. So my instructor said to imagine that the L in low-density lipoprotein meant lousy or lethal, and the H in high-density lipoprotein meant happy or healthy. 
The LDL cholesterol, or again, the lousy or lethal cholesterol, is the one specifically that can form plaque in our arteries. HDL actually helps the body clear LDL from the arteries. This is why HDL is actually good. By clearing LDL from the arteries, HDL lowers our risk for heart attack and stroke. Okay, now that we've covered that, back to your questions, Jason. If we start implementing lifestyle changes to help these numbers look better, meaning LDL gets lower and HDL gets higher, how long would it take to see these improvements? Here's a very vague and frustrating sort of non-answer for you. It depends. Don't you just love it when you hear that? It all depends because each person is built differently. Their genetics, what lifestyle behavior or behaviors they've incorporated, how consistent they are with those behaviors, how long they've been doing them, and so on. Most sources I've seen say that you can expect to see changes in your cholesterol levels in three to six months. Changes to diet, increasing exercise intensity and frequency and weight loss usually lead to the fastest changes. For example, weight loss of even just 5 to 10 pounds can lead to a 5 to 8% drop in that bad cholesterol, that LDL cholesterol. Okay, so what about alcohol then? According to published studies, drinking alcohol in moderation can increase levels of that HDL or good cholesterol. What does consuming alcohol in moderation actually mean though? For those that were identified as male at birth, moderation means no more than two drinks per day. For those that were identified as female at birth, it means no more than one drink per day. But what's one drink? One drink means that we've consumed between 12 to 14 grams of alcohol. The problem with this measurement is if we're not reading labels, we may not know how many grams of alcohol there are in whatever we're drinking at the moment. So to try and put this idea of one drink in more real terms, here are some examples. One drink would be your typical 12-ounce beer. Another example would be six ounces of wine. A shot of hard liquor, like whiskey or gin, or about one and a half ounces, would also count as one drink. So let me stop and be clear here. Notice I use the word or as I was describing those examples. This means each of these examples counts as one drink. So if we were to have a 12-ounce beer, six ounces of wine, and a shot of whiskey or gin all in one day, that would mean we have had three drinks. Consuming three drinks means we've gone over this definition of moderation, no matter what gender we may identify with. Okay, to summarize all of this, drinking alcohol in moderation, according to how I just described it, may lead to higher good cholesterol levels or HDL levels within three to six months. But of course, I have to end with some disclaimers. There are those that may want to ignore these findings and stay away from alcohol completely. For example, those that are pregnant or thinking of becoming pregnant in the near future, consuming any form of alcohol is not recommended. The same goes for those with a history or family history of addiction. Also, let's say we have someone that's relatively young and wants to start consuming alcohol earlier in life to try and prevent cardiovascular disease later. Well, it seems the benefits of consuming alcohol don't really start to kick in until around the age of 40, meaning it may not help to start drinking wine or beer when we're younger. So, if we want to consume alcohol in moderation in the hopes of improving our blood cholesterol numbers, we might as well wait until we're at least 40 years old. We also need to remember that everyone reacts to alcohol a bit differently. I said that two drinks per day for those that were identified as male at birth is considered moderation. But for some, two drinks may be too much. They may not have the alcohol tolerance to handle that much at one time. And what about those with pre-existing conditions like liver or kidney disease or those taking medications that may interact with alcohol? They should probably stay away. And of course, it's always a good idea to get your doctor's approval beforehand anyways. But again, if you were to implement this, along with other lifestyle changes, you could probably expect to see changes in your blood cholesterol levels within three to six months. Sweet summer days is happening now at Whole Foods Market with sales on the juiciest fruits of the season, organic peaches, organic cantaloupes, blueberries, and strawberries. That's an epic fruit salad. You'll also find sweet sales on fresh Alaska sockeye salmon and halibut and grill-ready fruity marinades. 
Keep your wallet happy with aisles of savings from 365 by Whole Foods Market, like sparkling waters, frozen fruits, and snacks. Sweeten your summer at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. Now is the chance to use reliable energy to grow your money with the Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. Our new investment product offers competitive returns, no maintenance fees, and flexible online access to your money. Make the reliable investment in reliable energy. The Dominion Energy Reliability Investment. To find out more, go online to reliabilityinvestment.com. That's reliabilityinvestment.com. Thank you again for taking the time to send in your question, Jason. And if you want to send your questions in, if you're in the U.S., we'll physically mail you a copy of our 216-page hardcover workbook totally free. If you're outside of the U.S., we'd be happy to provide an electronic version. You can email a question to health at oldpodcast.com. That's health at oldpodcast.com. Or if you want your voice played on the show, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. Lastly, you can do it the old-fashioned way and call in your question. The number is 161-I-LOVE-OHD. That's 1-614-568-3643. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for listening every day and all the way through. And I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.